Who wouldn't want a bag breakfast? Definitely get one of those. That's great, thank you very much. Hello and welcome to Meese and Cheese and we're about to begin day two of our adventure in Leeds and we're starting off with a really luxurious breakfast <laughs> that we're referring to as bagged breakfast. Not our words, the words of Ibis. Let's take a look inside. We've got a little apple juice. Cute. A little orange juice. Tropicana. Obviously yogurts. You know, Ray. everyone likes a yogurt. Ooh. Mooey skimmed milk, <laughs> delicious. Great, like a kid. A couple of bits of cheese. Random. Everyone likes cheese. Uh, crunchy nut cornflakes. Ooh. My favourite of the cornflake family. Uh, a Weetabix. I wish uh. I hadn't chose Weetabix now that I've found it comes in this package. <laughs> Why would you also, choose? Listen. Why would you choose yeah. Weetabix? It's not solid. <laughs> then we've got a croissant. Ooh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Um, another croissant. Ooh, uh, that one feels like it's slightly detached from its little nibble on the end. Uh, Ooh, one, one of my favourite dishes of all time. Oh God! Apple in a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't like apple in a bowl? I and then love we it. accompany it all with some strawberry jam, and um, obviously your cutlery. So. Salt and pepper in there, just in case you want to put that on. I've got one question. Yes. Where's the cheese fit in? Um, I'm guessing the croissant. It's a continental breakfast. Those continental folk are Have we only got one bowl? Um, no, there's two bowls there. And we've got some butter too. So let's begin our feast. Day two and the elevator door is very loud, but we're going back out into Leeds for some more fun times. <laughs> So we need to start off the day like we always do, and that's with a coffee. So we've come to Lane's at Espresso, who are very, very well known for their coffee. And uh, I've got to say, it smells amazing, it's super strong. But Leela <laughs> decided to be healthy and went for a Popeye. I've got a hangover. I've got a hangover. So it looks like pond water. <laughs> and um, it's not far off tasting the same, to be fair, but you can guarantee that there's so much health in that. So uh, I'll let her have that and I'll stick with the coffee. So, we've had our breakfast coffee. I attempted to drink a green juice. It was disgusting. Nowhere's open because obviously we're out of the butt crack of dawn. However, as opposed to going to the Weathers, we are going to the Cozy Club because it's open. Yeah! The best thing about the Cozy Club is you can guarantee that the interior is always mental. Look at all this. So obviously we've ordered our drinks here in Cozy Club and as is tradition, I've gone for a Bloody Mary. You can choose what level of spice you want and I've gone for something like e by gum that spicy. So the hottest one going, of course. And Leela has gone for an elderflower and rhubarb spritz that has glitter in it. And if I just give this a little, I can tap this up for you. Look at that, lovely stuff. This is sophisticated brunch drinking and we are not sophisticated people. Leela, give my Bloody Mary a go. It's it's not that spicy, I promise. I like it. It's like a meal. It's like a meal in a glass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he buy gum that spicy. <laughs> in my throat. We are here at Trinity Kitchen in Leeds, in the Trinity Centre, and it is the mecca of some of the best street food money can buy. You've got tacos, you've got pizza, you've got ribs, you've got chicken, you've got everything you can imagine, and we're gonna tackle it. Food's ready. So we've just been to Pizza Lux and we've put an order in for a Palermo. I'm hoping I said that right, I probably didn't. And this pizza has got ham, it's got mushrooms, it's obviously got cheese and tomato, but then it is drizzled with truffle oil. My mouth is absolutely just ready to eat this. Smells and it's sick. also got loads of Parmesan on it. And we're gonna go in for a slice straight away now. Let's have a little go. Ah, oh, I love a cheese pull. I love a cheese pull. 
It's good because the base is really, really thin. But you can see it's got all those nice little burn marks on the bottom. The winner in all of this is the Parmesan and the truffle oil. Absolutely ludicrously tasty. I just want to wipe this all over my face and then spend the rest of the day smelling of it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Every time. It is the perfect way to eat a slice of pizza. So, it's not 3 a.m. We've not been to the club. However, we have got a Donna kebab from the wonderful people at Donna Shack. Now, Leela, I do believe it's actually a kebab. Oh, yes, it is not a kebab, it is a kebab. So, look at the bready goodness. And in this, we've got some really good dip. I think it's chili. See a bit of chili over there in the corner. Chili and garlic, yeah. Chili and garlic, onions, and then incredible that donna meat looks like real meat lamb donna meat oh baby we've got some amazing garlic dip and they recommended their halloumi fries they talked a big game on the halloumi fries they said the halloumi fries were great so we'll see but first it's kebab time. i mean that is as big as your face hold that next to your face yeah. What do you prefer? It's about the same tan as well. Oh, hi. Something's <laughs> you don't always get in a donut kebab. Cheese. Well, we did go for the cheese one, didn't it's we? It's got cheese and onion in there as yeah. well, which is when the bread is like squidgy, really good, really Moorish. It's got some mad bounce to that bread. And now the halloumi fries time. Oh. It's good, it's a good size, it's a large fry. She said that basically, the way they cook them, you know when you get halloumi fries from like Nando's and places, it can be a bit squidgy, a bit hard. These are really soft, really oh, yeah. them, So it doesn't taste rubbery. It effectively just looks like potato. I'm going for a second dip. Do you need a moment alone? is Assembly Underground. We've been here before and there's a lot of fantastic food venues. The next stop on our food tour of Leeds is Assembly Underground. There are some fantastic vendors here and we've been here before. Oh, you <laughs> you anyway, there's some fantastic vendors here that we've tried many times before like Slap and Pickles and there's also Vocation Beer. But today we're going to try something a little bit different. So let's head inside, get our drink on, get our eat on. All right. So we've decided to start off small here in Assembly Underground by having a little snack. And we've gone for some Amazonia wings, which are Brazilian style chicken wings. And as the menu says, from the good people of Bread and Butter, <laughs> they are a juicy, well-seasoned, crunchy finger food topped with sauteed garlic and comes with a lime-infused olive oil and fresh parsley. Now look at this delicious food here. You can see it's like it's a dry sort of coating on it as well, which is going to be super crispy. So I should probably fire it up and give it a go. What do you reckon? Do it. Right. Oh, they are hot. And that is a meaty wing as well. Look at all the size on that. Really, really good. Okay, let's give it a go. Mmm. So it's not crumbly, it's more crunchy. Like, you know, sometimes you see the cornflake sort of coating on a wing. That is absolutely delicious. Wow, really, really good wings. Excellent wings. Our first Brazilian wings. Mm. So we've been to Assembly Underground and normally there is a massive stock of different food vendors who are offering a lot of stuff, but in these uncertain times, it does mean that a lot of the places are either closed or they are low on stock. So we're a little disappointed on what was available on offer inside Assembly Underground, but nevertheless, we will soldier on and we'll have some more delicious eats.
So Leela's gone to uh, TK Maxx or Matalan or one of these shops that just sells nonsense. So that gives me chance to indulge in my nerdy fascination with all things nerdy. So we were really tired earlier and we went back to the hotel for a quick sleep, but no time for resting now because we've come to Pixel Bar to play some games, drink some cocktails and have some fun. Let's go inside. Leela, was there something you wanted to do before we go to the next bar? Shout out to the man there. Of course there's something I want to do. Crep check. What? Crep check, you say? Crep. What are you doing? Crep check. I'm doing a crep check. Crep check. I'm doing a crep check. I'll tell you this. I look behind you. Crep check. <laughs> <laughs> we are here in the Roxy Arcade. Ready to play some old school games and have some cocktails and good drinks. Is uh, is that a basket of cartridges in your pocket or are you just pleased to see me? It's a basket of cartridges! But I mean, we do have Sonic. So let's play some Sonic. Sega! to play if you're a Mega Drive fan. You could play Alien Storm, you could play Sonic, you could play a variety of games. FIFA 96, nice. Road Rash, wow. Revenge of Shinobi, Streets of Rage and Golden Axe. <laughs> Move aside everybody because I want to play Tournament Golf. <laughs> Do the thing. Nah. on YouTube we're all friends but right now our friends are friends of ham and that's where we're going for some food tonight famous for meats charcuterie boards and sherry we're gonna go inside and we're gonna have something salty delicious and definitely meaty let's go So we've got a little appetizer here. Leela, what are we looking at? We have got bath chaps on toasted sourdough. What is bath chaps I hear you say? It is hot smoked pig cheeks. All right. Oh, right. That does look pretty decent. And then of course we've just gone for a selection of meats here, all served with sourdough and it looks awesome. Obviously there's cheese as well. What's that? Meats and cheese? Eating meats and cheese? <laughs> Seamless transition. Oh yeah. We're gonna get stuck into this now. We're gonna see how good it goes. Oh yeah, pigs, pigs. Well, 
Well, needless to say, that was absolutely delicious. Did you enjoy it? So good. Yeah, got you in a little bit of a cheese coma now. Meat and cheese coma. <laughs> Meats and cheese coma. That light's so bright. Your Black eyes are so red. Bad boys. Bad, bad boys. boys. What, what you, you gonna, gonna do? do? <laughs> <laughs>